In this video, we'll show you how to take an ATV312 drive, which is currently in the remote mode, put the drive in local mode, program the drive in local mode, run the drive in local mode, and also put the drive back into the remote mode. So first, to put the drive in local mode, it's very simple. The mode button in the upper left-hand corner, you just have to hold it for about three seconds. The drive will flash LOC. And if you notice in the upper left-hand corner, three little LEDs will blink, one, two, three, one, two, three. That means you're currently now in local mode. You have full control over the drive with the run button. You can run the drive, you can change speed with the knob on the face of the drive, and you can also stop the drive. Um, if you notice in this local mode with the LEDs flashing one, two, three, one, two, three, if you try to go into the programming mode, you're locked out. You can't make any changes, only the speed change. Um, to get into the programming mode while you're in local mode, you just have to hold the escape key for about three seconds. The display will blink, and if you notice, the three LEDs will flash on the upper left-hand corner. All three are flashing continuously. That means you can now go into the programming in the drive and pretty much go into any menu that you want to go into in the program. So this allows you to go in and make parameter settings while you're in local mode. And if you notice, the three LEDs are still blinking on the left um, once you escape all the way back out where it shows ready. So that means that you're in a programming mode. The run button and the stop buttons are not active in the programming mode. So to get back into the local um, run mode, you just have to hold the escape key again for another three seconds. The display will blink. And if you notice, the LEDs are blinking. One, two, three, one, two, three. Again, you're now into a mode where you can push the run button, the stop button, and use the wheel for speed control um, if you want to do uh, speed um, to control locally. Um, right now, you're still in local mode. You're still in local mode because the LEDs are blinking. One, two, three, one, two, three. If you want to go back to the remote mode to use the terminal inputs to start and stop the drive, um, you do have to hold the mode button for about three seconds. It will flash REN to indicate that it's in remote. And from here, you're no longer in local control, so the run button and the stop buttons are deactivated and the wheel is deactivated. So now you're back in a remote mode where you can um, use the terminal inputs LI1 to do start, stop. Um, now there is a, uh, uh, a note to take on this. If you do put it back in uh, local mode, if you take it from local mode back to remote mode, um, the drive will reset some of the uh, function parameters like uh, FR1 will get reset um, and some of your logic inputs will get reset. So be aware of that when you go between, um, by holding the mode button and you go between local and remote. Thank you.